fire. Welcome. I've got a big box set to unbox with you today. First vinyl LP set I've got in a few months, the last one, and there'll be the video of the unboxing of it down in my music collecting playlist if you scroll a little bit, was the Human League Virgin Years album set. This one was rather more expensive. It's from WH Smith, by the way. And the reason I got it from there, the retail price at WH Smith was around 190 something pound, which was actually more than other places. But A, there's free postage, and B, I managed to source a 10% off code. So that took 19, almost 20 pound off the price. So this ended up being a bit over 170, still with free postage, which was as cheap as I've seen this. Now this is actually a reissue set. It came out originally 1997 on CD only. First time it's ever come out on vinyl. I don't think it's got anything additional to it, rather than it being three CDs, it's six records. I do love a good box set when it's an artist that I'm into, and I'm a massive fan of this artist. And this will actually be the first time I've got any of her work on vinyl as well. So a nice first here for me. So expensive, but this is going to be really premium. You just know, really. As soon as it was announced, I thought, yeah, it's going to cost me a bit, but I want that. We have got loads of protective packaging. We've also got a sticky invoice. More packaging. And the set itself is this one. It is Enya's A Box of Dreams. Let's look at the back. So yeah, um, first impressions, it's a vinyl album box set, what more can you say? Now I was right, I think there's nothing extra on this, so there's going to be nothing beyond kind of Enya's mid-90s period here. So there'll be nothing from A Day Without Rain or anything subsequent to that. This came out, I think, to sort of coincide with, I think it would have been a first greatest hits compilation, Paint the Sky with Stars. And this box of dreams was like a kind of extended version of that. So it's finally got a vinyl reissue. I say finally. I mean, how many people are asking for it? Who knows? I just thought this would be a nice way to get some Enya on vinyl into the collection. There's three. They're not albums as such. They're like three sort of themes. And then all the tracks on these three themed albums. They don't follow any chronology, I don't think. So let's get this open. As far as I know, this is just going to be black vinyl. It's recycled vinyl. So whether that'll make it look a bit different, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think if I've got any recycled vinyl that I definitely know is recycled. I could have some and just it wasn't advertised as such. But this was specifically advertised as recycled. Ah, so this is nice. So the album sets themselves do feel nice quality, like there's a kind of less of a glossy sort of texture to this sleeve than maybe an album sleeve that I would be used to. So this is discs one and two, Oceans. I'm not going to worry too much about whether all the tracks on each section correspond to the name of the album. I mean, Oceans, yeah, it's got things like Orinoco Flow, Caribbean Blue, that makes sense. Uh, the other tracks on it, those were the first two on side one, are Book of Days, Anywhere Is, Only If, The Celts, uh, quite a few others. I'm not going to try and pronounce all these because there's going to be tracks in languages like Irish and Latin that I'm never going to be able to pronounce properly. Open it out. Nice gatefold. And we'll have presumably each disc in either side of the gatefold. So there's an inner there. Oh, now then. I think that's coming across quite nicely. So, I was expecting it to be black vinyl with maybe some sort of marbling to kind of give the impression that it's recycled vinyl. It's actually what I would call like an olive green, really. On camera, I think it's coming out quite nicely, this, for once. You probably can't see the marbling too well on camera, but um, me looking at it from this angle, I can. And that just gives it a nice sort of rustic kind of look to it. I really like that. I wasn't expecting that. I did think this was just going to be black vinyl. I'm assuming all the discs are going to be that colour in this set. So I better get at least one more out and have a look. So another inner sleeve there. Oh, 
they're not all the same colour. Look at that. This one is again sort of got a marble or a spatter effect. And this one is, I would say it's sort of like an orangey brown really, sort of like a very autumnal sort of looking. Now these are really nice, this has actually made this better value for money for me, because this was quite a highly priced box set really, especially for something that has already been out, albeit only on compact disc before, and with nothing new or updated on it, but that is really nice that um, obviously it's got custom centre labels as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the other discs look like now. Don't think there's any booklet or anything in this set. I don't have the CD box set, so I couldn't say if that ever had a booklet or anything like that in it. I've got all of Enya's studio albums and compilation albums on either mini disc or CD, but this is the first time I've got Enya on vinyl. With me not having this set, it's not a case of doubling up. Put that box down there for a sec. So this is the second theme of the box set, Clouds. Once again, these tracks will be curated, I think, by Enya's production and writing team, Nikki and Roma Ryan, um, that have a very cloud theme throughout. Anything on here that I particularly am a fan of. There's a lot of sort of album tracks on here, like album title tracks like Watermark, Shepherd Moon, The Memory of Trees, kind of more deeper cuts on this. Lothlorien I can see is on here. Get this one out. This inner sleeve does have some notes on it, some reading. It'll probably just mainly be production stuff and maybe a few acknowledgements. I think some sort of booklet enclosed with it would have been nice though. So the colour of this is... I would say this is kind of a, once again, with a nice spatter effect here that may or may not be enhanced by the fact that it's recycled vinyl. I would say this is sort of a metallic grey, almost verging on a kind of silver blue, but certainly not black vinyl. There we go, I think it's coming across fairly well on camera, and you may just be able to see some of the marbling or the spatter. I think it's spatter rather than marbling effect, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that was the middle of the gatefold, by the way. A little bit plain, especially on this side. I'm enjoying it so far. Certainly enjoy listening to it, no doubt. Another inner for the cloud set. This one. Ah, so this one is, I think, it's the same or very similar colour to the disc in the first set. It's that kind of autumnal green giving off foresty vibes to me, really. But, you know, very, very Enya, I would say. If you're an Enya fan, I think you'll know what I mean. Love that. Plenty to listen to here. I will have, I think, all this. I don't think there's anything in this set that wasn't included on a studio album at some point. There might be. There might be one or two tracks that came out as, like, single B-sides, which... I've never heard or I've never owned. It's just not something I've really looked into really to try and drill down all the tracks and where all of them are from relating to albums. So I'll just put the clouds section back in the box. Box itself, by the way, it's got a nice feel to it. It doesn't feel ultra premium, but it doesn't feel particularly cheap either. But I'm really loving the different colored discs in here because I wasn't expecting that. I've seen this advertised at a few places and I didn't notice, unless it's me being just ignorant really, I didn't notice anywhere that said this set had coloured vinyl in and different coloured vinyl as well. So section three of the set is stars. Some of the tracks on here, certainly ones that I'm familiar with, which is like I say pretty much all of them, but you know Enya, she's got a big body of work and I've not listened to everything she's done in a long time even though I do own all her albums but Evening Falls that was a single Aldi Baron I remember that Exile on Your Shore there again mostly what I would call album cuts and possibly some rarer b-sides on here but couldn't say for certain, but certainly not many singles. Evening Falls was a single. Paint the Sky with Stars was the name of her greatest hits album that came out in 97, which does resemble this set a lot, actually. Have a look inside. It's a little bit of writing, but whether it's anything to particularly pay attention to or whether it's just part of the whole design of the sleeve, I'm not sure. 
No, it is actually, just looking at it. Yeah, that's actually an update. It's actually a message from Enya, and then one from Nikki Ryan as well. Enya says, I would like to thank Roma for all the hard work and time she put into this vinyl issue of A Box of Dreams. So, yeah, obviously with this being brand new on vinyl, that was a new message. It was a nostalgic moment for myself, Nikki and Roma, to look back and relive all those precious memories. Okay, and then there's um, similar sentiments from producer Nikki Ryan there. Basically, although Enya is obviously a solo artist, the project, certainly since Watermark and onwards, has really been the work of three people throughout the career of Enya. There's disc, what will be disc five, or disc one in stars. Oh, now then, this one, as you can see, is kind of a... I'm um, rubbish with colours, but would you class this as turquoise? It's very sort of blue-green, so I would call this turquoise myself. There again, with some slight spatter effect in the wax itself. Very nice indeed. So, then to look at the last of the six discs. Love the artwork, but I do like Enya release artwork generally anyway it always looks high-end and classy in that kind of celtic and new age sort of style so this one yeah it's it's another i would say it's a darker green certainly to my eyes whether it looks much darker on camera i'm not too sure but a darker green not kind of as foresty and leafy as some of the other greens we've seen in this set I'd be interested to know actually whether, depending on, I mean, I don't know how many box sets have been produced, I imagine it'd be a limited number, but maybe not so limited that they would get numbered. I don't think there's a number on this anywhere that I've seen. I'd be interested to know whether, because of the recycling nature of this, depending on what set you got sent out, whether some of the discs would be different colours, and whether each LP each record is actually different per set, but I'm not sure. As I say, I wasn't even aware that this would be out on something other than black vinyl, or recycled black vinyl. So there you have it, a box of dreams. I think this is a really nice set. I think it's expensive for what it is. Even with a 10% discount, 170 something pound is a lot of money to pay, but that is a little bit cheaper than the 180 pound recommended retail price I've seen everywhere else. But it's got six discs in it. It's a nice collector's piece more than anything, I think. Certainly as a big, big Enya fan, it's nice to get something like that, really, for the first time. I do have Enya on mini-disc, which is quite collectible, but that's more for it being on mini-disc than it being Enya. And as I say, all the other Enya, apart from that, I've got is just on CD, and you can pick those up very cheap on eBay and wherever you buy your aftermarket compact discs, really. But this, as a new or reissued thing, a new Enya product to put out to fans and collectors is really nice. I'd be very tempted to get a bit more Enya on vinyl and to double up maybe for some of her stuff, but I've resisted doing that so far, but maybe I'll see um, if there's any good deals going on. I know there's a certain very best off compilation of hers that's out on vinyl and I've seen that for a fairly good price and I have the CD obviously, but it's tempted me. But for the meantime, a box of dreams, a lovely recycled vinyl set here will do me very nicely so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed this look at an unboxing of Enya's 1997 reissued box of dreams i want to say special thanks as always to my wonderful subscribers and my generous patrons please see my patreon link and facebook group link and referral links for hmv and urban jungle contents insurance all down in the description text box I'm gonna go now, and yes, you guessed it, gotta put a box of dreams on. Lots to get through here. Three themed albums within the set. Lots of Enya goodness. She's a great, great artist. I nearly said singer then, and of course I do love her voice, but her voice is very sort of manipulated by the production style of the Ryans. Not the coolest artist in the world, she never will be, but, you know, that doesn't mean shit to me, really. I listen to music that I like and that makes me feel good, and there's something about Enya and just all of her body of work that has really spoken to me 
and has kind of soothed anxieties for me over the years and I think that's true of a lot of Enya's fans really. Her music is uplifting in a way that I think only she's really truly achieved but anyway I'm not going to carry on waxing lyrical about her. Go on whatever streaming service you use and listen to some Enya yourself and uh, if you're feeling flush and assuming that they haven't sold out too quickly why not get yourself a box of dreams while you're at it and I do hope that all of you will join me next time for my next LP box set unboxing and record collecting video. Cheers everyone. See ya!